Hello and welcome back to the course of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss the terms related to the alternating quantity. Few terms we have already discussed in the previous video lecture. So let us see which are the terms, topic that I am going to discuss in this video lecture. The first one is average value, then determination of average value using graphical method, then determination of average value using analytical method then another term that is a rms value determination of rms value using graphical method and determination of rms value using analytical method so these are the two important terms that i am going to discuss in this video lecture and finally two factor that is form factor and peak factor so let us start with the average value Average value or mean value of alternating quantity is expressed by DC current or voltage which transfer the same charge across any circuit as it is transferred by alternating current during the same time in the same circuit. The average value of alternating voltage or current is given by arithmetic mean of ordinates of alternating quantity at equal interval over the half cycle. For symmetrical wave, average value is calculated over the half cycle because average value of symmetrical waveform over full cycle is zero because positive cycle value and negative cycle values are equal and opposite. So average value is a mean value. Now let us see how to calculate average value using graphical method. So here you can say one alternating voltage is there that is a voltage that is a plot of voltage versus time. Here, half cycle is divided into the equal parts which are equally spaced and the duration of each part is equal. The half cycle duration is T and in, the, in one particular slot, mid point is taken which is known as the mid ordinate which is nothing but the instantaneous value. So here you can see there are 10 instantaneous value in 10 different slots that is V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 up to V10 and duration of each slot is t by 10 where t is a duration of half cycle so how to calculate the average value from this waveform so average value will be summation of v1 v2 v3 up to v10 divided by total number of instantaneous value here number of instantaneous value in half cycle is 10 so it is divided by 10 so v average is v1 plus v2 plus v3 up to plus v10 divided by 10. So this is how we can calculate the average value of a symmetrical waveform. If the waveform is asymmetrical then we have to consider the full cycle. Symmetrical waveform means what? Positive and negative cycles are equal. So this is how we can plot average value from the given waveform. More the number of slots, more the number of instantaneous value if we will take then more accurate result we will get. Now next thing determination of average value using analytical method. So again considering the same voltage waveform that is V is equal to Vm sin omega t alternating quantity where Vm is a maximum amplitude. It is spread over 0 to 2 pi. Now you can see some area under the curve. So basically average value is what? Area under the curve divided by base of the curve. Here area under the curve can be calculated using integration. So V average is equal to integration 0 to pi Vm sin omega t and with respect to d omega t because this waveform is plotted with respect to omega t. So V average is equal to integration 0 to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t divided by the duration of the base that is pi, pi minus 0 that is pi. Now, taking Vm by pi outside that because that is a constant so V average is equal to Vm divided by pi integration 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t. Now integrating the sin omega t with respect to omega t we are getting minus cos omega t. So V average is equal to Vm divided by pi in bracket minus cos omega t and limits are from 0 to pi. Now putting the value of the limit we are getting V average is equal to minus Vm divided by pi in bracket cos pi minus cos 0. So V average is equal to minus Vm by pi 
in bracket minus 1 minus 1. So, V average is 2 Vm by pi. If we calculate the value of 2 by pi, we will be getting 0.637. So, V average is nothing but the 0.637 into Vm where Vm, Vm is the maximum value of the given signal amplitude. So, this is how we can calculate the average value using analytical method. Now, point to be noted here is that we have to take half cycle if the waveform is symmetrical, if we have to take and we have to take full cycle if the waveform is asymmetrical. Now, taking one example or to calculate the average value. So, find the average value of the waveform shown below. Here one waveform is there, current waveform which is denoted by i is equal to mathematically can be represented by i is equal to i m sin omega t. Now, here you can see between 0 to pi current value is there between pi 2 to pi value of the current is 0. So, these are symmetrical waveform. Now, to calculate the average value of this current, what we need to take? We need to take the entire duration. So, I average will be equal to integration 0 to pi I m sin omega t d omega t divided by 2 pi. So, I average is equal to I m divided by 2 pi integration 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t. So, I average is equal to I m divided by 2 pi in bracket minus cos omega t putting the value of the limit I average is equal to minus I m by 2 pi in bracket cos pi minus cos 0. So, we are getting I average is equal to I m by pi. So, here the duration is taken 0 to 2 pi in the previous case it was taken between 0 to pi. Moving towards the next topic that is RMS value. It is also known as a effective value. Now, it is a full form of RMS value is root mean square value. Means for given waveform, first we need to take the square of that waveform, then mean and then finally square root again. So, what is the definition? So, it is equal to the DC value which when flowing through the given circuit that is a register for given time produces the same heat as produced by alternating current when flowing through same circuit for the same time. It is denoted by IRMS and VRMS. Now, let us see the explanation of RMS value. So, here one basic setup is there. L is a filament lamp, S is a switch, X and Y are the two contacts. Initially, lamp is connected to the AC supply. So, for some amount of time, AC supply is given and brightness is noted. Now, DC supply is given, so switch is connected to the contact Y. Now, DC will be given to the lamp and emitter will, A is nothing but the emitter that will no, note the current. Now, value of the register is changed and at some time will achieve the same brightness as achieved by the AC supply. That at that point, the current is noted in the emitter. That current is nothing but the RMS value. So, basically RMS value is a DC value which produces the same amount of heat as produced by the AC current or AC voltage in the given circuit for the given time. Now, let us see how to calculate RMS using graphical method. So, here again taking the same voltage waveform that is a voltage versus time waveform alternating quantity is there. Now, again half cycle is divided into the equal parts and mid point of that equal part is taken which is nothing but the mid ordinates value instantaneous value. So, again here we are having 10 instantaneous value from V1, V2 up to V10. Duration of each slot is P by 10 where T is the duration of half cycle and here we have taken the 10 slots. So, we are getting the 10 mid ordinates value. Now, for RMS value first we need to take the square of the value then all the values are added that is divided by the number of values and then finally square root is taken. So, RMS value V RMS value of voltage is given by V RMS is equal to square root of V1 square plus V2 square plus V3 square up to plus V10 square divided by 10. So, this is how we can calculate the RMS value from given waveform using graphical method. It is also known as a mid ordinate method. Next one calculation of RMS value using analytical method. So, here 
when waveform is taken that is a voltage versus time and waveform is mathematically expressed by v is equal to vm sin omega t you can see some areas are taken area under the curves you can see now so vrms we have already proved so vrms is equal to square root of area under the square curve divided by base of the curve or it can be also given as vrms is equal to square root of mean of square of instantaneous value of voltage or current so let us see how we can calculate the rms value using analytical method so vrms is given by vrms is equal to square root of integration 0 to 2 pi here full cycle is taken vm square sin square omega t d omega t divided by 2 pi because first signal is squared so vm square sin square omega t is taken and the range is taken from 0 to 2 pi here average will not be zero because we have already squared the signal so range is from 0 to 2 pi so base width is 2 pi so vrms is equal to square root of vm square divided by 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi now sin square omega t can be replaced by 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 into d omega t so integrating with respect to d omega t so what we are getting vrms is equal to square root of vm square divided by 4 pi in bracket integration of 1 is omega t and integration of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t by 2 here integration is done with respect to omega t and limits are from 0 to 2 pi so vrms is equal to square root of vm square divided by 4 pi putting the value of limit 2 pi minus 0 so in bracket 2 pi minus 0 if we solve this equation we can get vrms is equal to square root of vm squared by 2 and that value is nothing but the 0.707 into vm so vrms is equal to 0.707 into vm where vm is the maximum value of the given signal now taking one example find the rms value of waveform shown below so here one waveform same waveform we have taken the voltage is varying between 0 to pi and between pi to 2 pi the value of the given voltage is 0 so vrms is equal to square root of integration 0 to pi here integration 0 here limits are from 0 to 2 pi but between pi to 2 pi the value is 0 so here we have taken integration from 0 to pi then squaring the signal vm square sin square omega t d omega t and base base width of the given waveform that is 2 pi so dividing by 2 pi so vrms is equal to square root of vm square divided by 2 pi integration from 0 to pi now take replacing sin square omega t by 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 into d omega t now vrms is given by square root of vm square by 4 integration of 1 is omega t and integration of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t divided by 2 limits are from 0 to pi now putting the value of the limit vrms is equal to square root of vm square divided by 4 pi in bracket pi minus 0 and if we solve this equation we will be getting vrms is equal to square root of vm square divided by 4 and that is nothing but the 0.5 vm so in, in this case we are getting 0.5 vm in the previous case we we got the value 0.707 vm because here negative cycle is not present so this is how we can calculate the rms value of the given waveform now moving towards two important factor that is a form factor and peak factor so let us start with the form factor the ratio of rms value of the alternating quantity to the average value of the alternating quantity is known as form factor so our form factor is given by rms value divided by average value of the alternating quantity now we have already derived the rms and rms value and average value of the symmetrical waveform so that is nothing but the 0.707 vm divided by 0.637 vm 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 gets cancel out so form factor is 1.11 form factor value which we are getting is for symmetrical waveform if this waveform is not symmetrical then form factor value will be different the last one is a peak factor or amplitude factor or crest factor the ratio of maximum value to the rms value of the alternating quantity is known as peak factor or amplitude factor so peak factor is given by 
maximum value of alternating quantity divided by RMS value of the alternating quantity. So, we can write peak factor is equal to Vm divided by RMS value of the symmetrical alternating quantity is 0 0.707 Vm. So, if we cancel out Vm, Vm, we are getting the value root 2. So, peak factor is equal to 1.41. Again, this peak factor is for symmetrical waveform. This is all about today's lecture. In this video lecture, I have discussed average value and RMS value using graphical method and analytical method. Hope you have enjoyed this video. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.